All right, so today we're just going to investigate the basic IDE for Sega Genesis programming, and we're going to hope to make our first ROM. So as you see when you first load it up, it might look like this, but without the um, but uh, yeah, it would say Untitled One, and then there would be like this blank text editing page. So what you're wanna, gonna want to do first and foremost, if you don't have an emulator installed, I mean if you do have an emulator installed, you should. Options. Uh, paths have your emulator path set up and then hold on editor there should be a um just make sure you have it set to yeah after compilation run the ROM slash ISO in the emulator have that selected so every time you make a change to your program it always runs in an emulator alright so after you have that click apply and okay so I have the font set super big just so you guys can see it so we're gonna make our first program the first command you're ever gonna learn in this um, I'm gonna show you is print it displays text numbers whatever you wanna show in um, ASCII format so let's say I'm gonna have a question in Latin could est frater I think that's how you say what's up brother right yeah so what's up brother we're gonna have the Sega Genesis say that on the screen so we're gonna have to, this button right here means compile the basic source code it's compiled this message will come up if, it, if there's no errors and make sure that you have a space right before the print or, yeah right before the print because if you don't have a space it's gonna give you an error so click OK and then here it is quit us frater that is your first program for the Sega Genesis. So, this um a little bit more in depth here. But then what I just did is I told it to display a string. Now, a string is like a combination of text, numbers, things like that. But let's say if we want to display some math functions, we're gonna have to have an integer. So we can do seven times eight. Compile. 76. So I could do basic math like that. But the only thing is, you can't do floating point math. Meaning, if you do seven, I mean eight to the second power, that's not going to work. But there's not really a need for that at this point. We're going to be using some simple programs. And besides, you could still just do that and get the same result. Sixty-four. But now that we got that out of the way, just to show what print does, you can do some more intricate functions here. Let's say I have a variable. So I have variable A, variable oops, B. Now this is probably going to give me an error right now since I don't have the variable set to anything. So when I compile, can I in identify, see it's giving me problems. So we're going to have to apply values to these variables. So let's say A equals 4 and B equals 5, right? So first let's add them together. A plus B equals 9. So that's the output we should get. Notice that I don't have semicolons at the end like in C. It's straight basic. You don't need to have any of that stuff. Just wanted to point that out. 9. And we could do multiplication. Oh, let's try subtraction. It should get negative 1, but I've been just been wanting to investigate if it could do negative numbers at all. Hopefully. Oh no. So it resets to um sixty five thousand. Okay. It's good to know. So I can't do negative numbers. But that's just the extent of print. Or at least in math basically. So let's um change it up a bit by doing a string. So A with a dollar sign is a string. Hold on for a second, let me hold on. Alright, sorry guys, I just had to check up something real quick to make sure it was correct. But yes, we put on the letter A or the name of your variable and num dollar sign and variables names can't start with numbers so if you do that that's not going to work or is it oh in other programming languages it doesn't work we learn something we all do something learn something new each day right yeah so let's type in some other stuff just to get used to the command you could type in your name I'll just type in Sega rules. Rule. 
Sega rule. They're making some bad choices these days, but they used to rule. Yep, Sega ruled. One more thing I wanted to show you before we close out this first programming introductory video is the locate command. Now locate tells the computer or the genesis where you want the text to go. So we could go locate 10, 10, which puts the cursor in the lo screen location 10, 10. Which um, is special for print because in draw screen I think it's offset by one, by one tile. So, pretty sure. It, oh yeah, I don't have anything set to A. So let's say YouTube. Now it should print YouTube not at the corner where it was before, but towards the middle because it's offset by 10 clicks YouTube 10 all right so that has been we so the commands that we learned today where we learn how to make variables learn how to print strings and we learned about locate in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to do some minimal graphics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.